What's the biggest penis you've ever seen? 11 inches, two hand job. Wouldn't go anywhere. Wouldn't go in there. Really wouldn't go in there. So I had to lick it like a lollipop. No, God, please, no, 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 no! I don't think I'll have enough solution to clean my eyes, guys. I'll never recover from this. What the clips prove is something we've known for some time now. The last of the honorable Western women are long gone. I mean, even most of the grandmas you see here are, as the caption states, for the streets. Today, we get to see what happens when generational depravity reaches all-time highs. The wall hoppers have completely lost their minds, there's no getting around that. The comments are, Granny is for the cemetery. Grandma, it's for the afterlife streets. The 1960s were wild apparently. They created the streets. Get this grandma off my feed. It wouldn't do any good, bud. There's no way any of us can unsee that. In resonance with the fourth comment, you're absolutely right. These women created the streets. It's a standard that has been set for over the course of a hundred years. It's the exact reason the Big Town movement exists. There's no way to correct a century of perversion and no accountability. Moving on. In China, if you're a woman, single, and over 30, you are called 剩女, which means leftover woman in Mandarin. In Cantonese, you are called 老大长, 卖正者, and 十周啦, which means orange at the bottom of the basket, the sugar king that didn't get sold, and the thing used for filling the gap of the stove. But if you're a man, single, and over 30, you are called 钻石王老五, which means a diamond bachelor in Mandarin. In Cantonese, you're called 神盆, which means quality real estate. I can't say I agree with all East Asian policy, but this is definitely one of the reasons brothers grab that passport real quick. The word of the day today, guys, is standards. A term lost to the sands of time when talking about Western women. You see, on the other side of the world, women notice that the clock ticks, while the other puts on the earmuffs and pretends it doesn't exist at all. The product is a bunch of aging women raging on reels that we watch for momentary enjoyment. The comments are, Here you're just called a cat lady. Cultures all over the world don't sugarcoat things till they lose identity. It is just the West. They understand the wall in China. Feminist watching this video. Stove gap filler. Brutal. I gotta say, that's a new favorite for me. I have a German, Japanese, and Spanish under the old belt here. It's time I started learning Mandarin. The wall is something all women have to face, whether they like it or not. It's the unforgiving natural truth that no amount of feminism can cure. The only difference, as I said before, is that some just don't want to acknowledge it. Like these ladies. <laughs> Moon shoes. I remember those when I was a kid. I gotta admit, there's probably no better example of women fleeing the wall by picking up nonsensical workout routines. Perhaps they think those shoes will allow them to be able to jump it, but ladies, the wall is high. No false vertical will allow you to ignore that fact. You can do as many as 5 calorie burning workout sessions as you like, but that won't save you from the only western woman who takes responsibility. Mother nature. The top comments are... It's where's their music, and since when does lifting weights help with weight loss? Three sets of hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dogs. Three sets of I don't understand how I'm still not losing weight. And get a big burrito at Chipotle after and blame it on metabolism. Ten sets of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse dance. A lot of these were pretty good. Gold stars, people. Gold stars for everyone. This does bring up the primary weapon of an aging modern woman, though. Denial. As long as they get to shy away from anything resembling real effort, they'll hop on it like white on rice. Moving on. Not the first time somebody told me I look like Rihanna. Somebody, I remember it was this old lady, right? I was in the airport, and she was like, Rihanna, you look just like Rihanna. I said, what? I said, really? You know, I had my shades on and all that, and then I was like, okay. And now I got that before on a work, and then I got it on live. So there's a correlation here. Y'all can say whatever you want. Y'all know y'all here. You getting Beyonce? I, I don't think I'll ever fully understand why these chicks do this to themselves, aside from the obvious delusions. Lady, nobody on God's green earth told you that. You're either wearing headphones or this is a desperate attempt to reel in a chad. Regardless, nobody is buying it. 
you just hit the wall. Face it, you can compare yourself to any number of toxic female celebrities, but this doesn't help with hopping the wall either. And I can almost guarantee that the comment section below is not going to be merciful. Let's see what they have got to say. She said Rhino, not Rihanna. They're pronouncing Oprah wrong. They lied. I don't know what drugs she's on, but she really needs to stop. She looks more like Suge Knight. You sure she Rihanna and not Fiona? Looks more like Medea. When you order Rihanna from Wayfair. Yep, I told you so. There were just too many good ones here. I couldn't leave them all out. When the feed is packed with aging women, I'm always amazed by the number of them who have a kind of reverse body dysmorphia. Lady, if this woman exists, which she doesn't, she didn't do you any favors. Next one. Leave me alone. Why do you keep following me? It's honestly so uh, creepy and I'm going to call the cops. And that's why women yeah, can't go out in the world by themselves because of guys like you. <laughs> what? Okay? So stop following me. You, you, have, you have a thing hanging out of your car. What are you talking about? There's a... Literally a gas hose hanging out of your car. No one's being creeped. Oh. No, thank you. An oldie, but a goodie. Western women are so delusional, and age just really enhances it. Not only do they go on and on about looking like a star, but they go out of their way to create a false narrative that they're always being catcalled and followed. I have no doubt this experience will be so embarrassing for her that she'll have to spin it for the girls at the bar. It's really the only way she'll be able to preserve any semblance of dignity at this point. Not that she really had any to begin with, though. The comments are, Feminists in a nutshell. She thought she was getting followed and got out the car to tell them to stop. To spend one day in the head of someone so clearly detached would be an adventure. The thoughts running through her mind have to be amazing. Women. She went straight home and vented to her eight cats about this after. They, and the two kids she had with two separate guys. If the stats are right, that's probably the whole picture. And the other comment here was right as well. Women have zero survival instincts. Another one. I'm a single mama. I have to live in this space of survival and beast mode. Like, I have to live in my masculine energy. And then when it comes to dating, men are always like, oh my goodness, like we're attracted to strong, independent women. But then they get with one and they realize, like, these women, us women, we're surviving in this masculine space where we, we, we don't have the capacity to get into our feminine and be soft and vulnerable and all of these things that a man wants and needs. And as a man, if you want us to get there, you have got to provide a safe masculine space. Base. It's like women equate femininity to being lazy and having a privileged life. No, just act like a woman. Don't require something from somebody else to then be something. Just be it. It's like these women want something from men in order to not act like one. The single moms always slip into categories. It never fails. This guy does a great job at outlining the issues, but he's missing a piece here. When it comes to the exchange, women, especially those who have hit the wall, and will never fulfill their end of the bargain here. They're set in their ways. Customs of entitlement that no Prince Charming will ever effectively nullify, no matter how masculine they prove to be. Not to mention that no decent dude would be caught dead listening to a woman who talks like this. The top comments are, Never date or marry a woman who uses social media as a therapy session. Survival and beast mode. So the responsibility of the average working man? Single mother asking men to do something for her? Learn to recognize the pattern, people. No man has ever uttered the words, I'm so attracted to a strong, independent woman. She just, she's just on Al Gore's internet lying. Her own choices. Yep, her own choices indeed. But if we're getting real, wall punchers don't understand choices. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so miserable. They're the kind of people to drive a car past the oil limit and then act surprised when the car is busted. Next clip. When a guy breaks up with you, the only thing that's gonna make you happy is not sleeping with another guy, mm. not dick, mm. none of that, like, mm. or, or dating real fast. Like, working makes you happy. Like, working really makes you happy. Like, seeing the money makes you happy. Like, oh, look at this. Like, yeah. These are inspiring words from an American female's favorite rapist. Seriously, I'll never understand why this aging escort gets a platform, or why the double standards are so strong that she isn't sharing a cell by now. 
Yet, like all aging women, the goal is to convince everyone around them to forget the past, to pretend that they are still vital, reborn. The problem with this line of thinking is anyone with two brain cells to rub together realizes how much of a farce Cardi B's life is. Lock her up, baby. Lock her up. And the comments are, that's her. Eating and shopping makes me happy. A former pros giving advice to young women. You gotta love America. Getting money makes you happy, and also getting a faithful man can make you happier. Yes, working on yourself and getting proud that you made it alone without using anyone. Looks like she didn't get the memo. A lot of these comments were supportive, and I guess that tells you a little about the state of the US right now. If you discover a new way to produce necessities, you get a small column in the local paper. But if you're an ancient stripper with nothing real to say, suddenly the country owes you a small fortune. Next. Why are all men trash? I order this coffee, sit outside on a bench to wait. On the bench next to me, there's a pretty attractive guy my age. Suddenly, his six-year-old dad appears, and he go the son goes inside, okay? The dad looks at me and goes, hi, hi. Says something creepy like, you're the essence of Easter, okay? Mm -hmm. Son comes back out. They're talking a little bit. Dad continues to talk to me. Stop. As they're leaving, the dad looks at me and goes, bye. Mm -hmm. You are a dirty, dirty dog. What's crazy is so many women that are hitting the wall have so much to say about how men approach them, but then if men are not approaching them, then that's also a problem. It's like men need to court me, men need to lead, men need to make the first move, but when they do, then they're called pieces of shit. And this is a perfect example. Why is he a piece of shit? Because the way that you wanted him to approach you, the way you had it conjured up in your brain, because he didn't read your mind on how you wanted to be approached, now he's trash and all men are trash. Make that make sense. I'm just at a point where I don't even think that women understand what the fuck they want because if men don't approach them, it's a problem. But then when they do, that's also a problem. And the solution is really that women should approach men if they're interested in, in them. But the reality is, is women are never going to do that because they cannot take rejection in the same way that men do. Point blank, period, because women think that they're entitled to all of this attention and they can't even fathom being rejected. But it just is so embarrassing for the good women left in the world that women come on the internet and say all men are trash simply because he said something that maybe you found creepy, but laugh it off, get to know him, maybe ask for his name or his number. You found him attractive. And again, where's your initiative? If you found him attractive, you could have easily flipped it and made it a really good conversation and gotten to know him. But instead you decided to come on the internet and call all men trash. No wonder why you're single. Okay, bye. Ma'am, you have to slow down there. You're speaking the language of reason, a language your kind over the age of 30 rarely understands. This woman, the one at the start, if there's any positive to get out of this, will end up alone and angrier than she currently is, babbling to herself while she cleans a loaded litter box. Because the truth is, older women, really women in general, don't understand what it means to be happy. It's for this exact reason they destroy their lives as if it's a small trivial trend. The comments are, she's not even attractive, she's below average. Good lord. I've learned to just keep my distance, smile, and keep walking. It's not worth it anymore. This is why I don't even speak to anyone at all. So much easier now. Thank you for saying it, and women want to know why we don't approach and stay single. Thank you. The gratitude. I'm sure is well received, guys. But there's one piece missing to the puzzle. Older women can't be courted. They're way past that stage. If anything, the best they can hope for is acceptance, and there's no way in hell any of us would accept this. Not even by a long shot. Last one here. Oh god, dating is a freaking disaster. It's not a place you actually want to be in your 50s. They all go for the younger women, so my dating puddle, even though I'm, I think I'm pretty smart and I'm not bad looking, and I am as invisible to, I'd say, 70% of the men. So it goes to show, when women get older, it's their, their dating pool decreases. Time is on our side as men, and time is not on women's side. Truer words have never been spoken. Time is an asset for the patient man, but it has never been an asset for women. Not now, not ever. Countless aging 304s realize nobody is visiting the scrapyard, so they flip up the phone, record a sob story, and start fishing for sympathy points. Because in the end, that's all they have left. And even then, the story of the good, the bad, and the eggless continues. 
To fight against time is to fight against reality, something all Western women do, but none of them ever win. The top comments are, she didn't even say dating pool, she said puddle. She forgets that the description she gives of herself applies to about 60% of the men she shit down when she was younger. Why are you single in your 50s? Divorce the man that couldn't make you happy? No man can ever make you happy no matter what he does. Yes, yes, and boom, another yes. Men, if a woman says she's over 30, make sure to give her the cane in the shed. She's gonna need it. The forces of nature are stronger than any form of denial. I'm glad you guys are among those with a fighting chance. I'm sure you all deserve it. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.